Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome back to my Let's Play of the game. I. <laughs> it's a good start to the video, isn't it? Sorry, yeah, I know. Uh, hello, this is Stampy Longnose. Welcome back to my Let's Play of the game Ico as I immediately jump into the water. Um, if you remember the last video, things got a little bit dramatic, to say the least. I have now been separated with my friend Yorda, who I had previously spent the entirety of the game with, now apart. Her mum showed up and I almost died, but luckily I've managed to survive. I've made my way to this cave and I'm basically looking for a way to uh, get back up and be reunited with Yorda. So that, that, that's the deal. Um, if you haven't seen any of the past videos and you'd like to check them out, there will be a link in the description to a playlist which will contain all of the videos leading up to this one and once they're uploaded, all of the ones following on from this one. So, can I, can I pull the box while I'm in the water? Oh, I can. He can only bloody swim, but he can still pull a box under the water. I guess I've got to pull it to here, then climb up. Seems like a pretty safe bet. <laughs> this is a little bit awkward. Look, look, he can hardly swim at the best of time. And now he's got to push this box. I bet it's a box full of helium. Oh, dear. Clumsy. Butterfingers. Come on, push it, come on. <laughs> no, not that, oh. Bloody hell, can it? L line it up, line it up nicely. Box, you stay where you are, you're doing a grand job. And now you just push it, just push it this way. Just push it, just get it to the bloody ladder. Come on. Almost there, almost. This, this okay, I, I look like I'm failing awfully now, but this is very awkward. But why is it like he, I think you can only pull it Every time I try and push it, I think he just kind of spins it round. Right, this should be okay. I should be able to jump on it from here. Steady, steady, and go. Nope. <laughs> Bounce straight into the wall. Let's give that another go. The water physics are quite good. The box moves annoyingly realistically, which makes it very difficult. Come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up. There we go. That didn't take long, did it? Only a bloody minute. Right. Just going to open the gate for me. Oh, I do have to swim this whole way through. Right, I'm going to take this box with me as well because I don't want to go all the way to where I'm going to go. Realise that I needed a box and feel, find out that I've left it there. I don't actually think I swim any slow when I'm holding the box either. Ah, I think I need to climb on the box to jump up and get onto the top of that chain. I feel like there, there's a secret area around here. I feel like this is a good opportunity to hide things, but like I don't know where it is, obviously, if it's a secret or if there is anything here. Right, let's see if I can do this a little bit better. I don't I, I can't even tell how high that is because of the way the camera is. There we go, it is it is reachable. It is halo reachable. I don't like this area, it's all a bit foggy. I hate it when games use fog to like disguise the draw distance. Battlefield's the worst one. Battlefield Bad Company 2 and number 1. Like no, Battlefield Bad Company 1 is really misty so you can never see anything and Bad Company 2 is dusty. It just replaced fog with dirt. So yeah, it's just really annoying. Like I'd rather they just be honest about the draw distance and rather try and disguise it in fog and stuff. I suppose the only other options like just like it cutting off the edge of the world, you know like Minecraft does. So. I suppose fog does make it look a little bit nicer. What have I just done, by the way? I didn't. I didn't really look. Um, can I not go anywhere here? I seem to have been making a mechanism work now. So, have I got to just jump back down? Uh, I don't know where else there is to go. Well, let me let me pull this back out again if I can and put it back in. Oh, I can't. I guess I'm gonna have to jump. Oh, can I jump onto here? Can I jump onto these. I feel like I'm, I'd be. I'm doing it from like the wrong angle. Like... Oh, he's, he's not jumping. He's refusing to jump. I can't actually jump off there. That won't kill me, will it? No. Okay. Well, where's okay? There's platforms there. Plat let's just follow this down and see where it starts. Can I get out over here? Please don't tell me I need that box with me to get out. No, it's good, I'm out. Okay, I'm dry. Well, I'm not dry, but I'm, I'm out. 
Oh, this, do this doesn't look safe at all. But don't have any other choice, so let's go. Going up. Drop, 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 drop. I must say, I've been slightly impressed with my performance in these last few videos. I didn't set myself a high standard in my early videos, but <laughs> I've certainly surpassed that. I think the reason they have these pipes like this is to make it so you can't go back, so once you drop down, you can't get back up there, so it's sort of like like no return. But I do like that, because it's going to make sure that I'm not doubting what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, am I supposed to walk across this? Steady, steady, steady. Ah, there we go. Up here? Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, Cal calm down, fella. He's getting all excited. Like, what is this place? Like, what what is this stuff doing? Is this like a a water refinery? What what is the purpose of this place? What is what is going on here? A power generator? I don't think there is like electricity or anything. Oh, I've got to. Oh, okay, I think I've got to make this jump. Woo! I did it. There's no other reason the camera angle would change that dramatically to show me where I need to go. <laughs> okay, well let's swing to this next one, I guess. I hate the platforming, like there's no lead, like if I fall I know I'm just going to do the whole thing again, like normally on a game that have like a safe area you can land or if you fall and going to die you wouldn't die, but here if you fall that's it, game over man, game over. I do feel a little bit more comfortable knowing there's water underneath me though, <laughs> even though I'd have to do the whole thing again, at least I'm not going to have to die. I hate dying, dying sucks, we should eradicate dying, dying is like there's no point in dying, no one likes it. Right. Okay, this this is where I saw earlier. Could I have a much worse camera angle? There we go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh god, this one this one's bigger than the last one. Drop, 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 drop. I'm done it. I'm doing I'm doing okay. I'll be reunited with Yorda in no time. I do I do genuinely miss her. I do miss her company. Silent as she was, it was just nice knowing that I wasn't alone with all my challenges. I had her watching from a distance. Oh my god, this is like total wipeout or something. <laughs> and coming up next, the big red balls. Um, right, let's look over this way before I move too far that way. I want a save point. I don't even know. I'm not even going to be able to save, am I? Because I, we needed Yorda to be there for me to save and she's not here. Do I have to do all of this without saving? Maybe that's where they put water there so I couldn't die. They should be like a, a single, like a save armchair for when she's not there instead of a sofa. Things are getting a lot more dramatic. There's like thunder and lightning in the background. It's rainy and things are getting dangerous. Just every, every, everything since I've left her has just gone downhill and everything just seems worse. I'm down in the dumps. Oh no, I, did I fall? I did, ah, oh, blows, I died. Where's this going to take me back to? Hopefully it's going to take me back to when I just exited. I think it has. Oh no, where am I? Where am I? Oh, thank God for that. If that took me all the way back, I would have... I'd have probably just done the game again, to be honest, but <laughs> I would have been annoyed while doing it. No, oh, just come on, stay on. Oh, stay on, what's he doing? <laughs> At least, like, if you go to the edge, he doesn't immediately fall off. He does that, woo, that sort of cartoon balancing act. <laughs> Alright, let's try and be a bit more accurate with my jumping. It's just annoying when you're jumping and like the camera changes like that. Did he bang his head against the wall? It's just hard to line it up because you don't know where the camera's going to move because you're not controlling it. Like when you're running or jumping the camera can just sort of turn and you're going to have to sort of adjust for it. The saying that, I heard in the reviews so many people were like complaining about how awful the camera is and it's made it unplayable. Like, okay, the camera isn't fantastic, it could have been better. In more recent games they have improved the way they've done the camera. But it's not that bad, it hasn't ruined the game for me, like I haven't been that frustrated. There's just been one or two times where I might have missed a jump or just mistimed something because of the camera. But overall it's, it's been okay, it's done the job, it just it could have done it a little bit better than it has. I want to stay on good terms with the camera. 
It's very important. I just want to be back with Yorda now, though. I want to be back in the sunshine, like... I want to be back to where I was earlier. I don't even care about being free. I just want to be reunited with Yorda, and I don't want it to be raining, and I don't want everything to look as miserable as it does. Oh dear, here we go. Don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. Oh, okay. It's, I thought it was a really thin pipe there. It's actually okay. There's two pipes I can run between. Let's see the lightning in the background there. Look at the scenery. Sorry, I should probably pan around and show you my surroundings a bit more than I have been. <laughs> I'm very much focused on what I'm doing. Let's zoom in. It's like those like cop shows, like when they're chasing someone, they've got like the helicopter like zooming in on him. Here we have one horned boy on the run from the cops. Where am I going now? I'm going inside the cliff, inside the mountain. The pressure's mountain. <laughs> Sorry. Damn, what is it with my bloody puns? Can't help it. Okay. Seems to be in like some sort of sewer, maybe? Oh dear. Oh, something I have noticed, actually. I've lost my stick. I've lost Stan the stick. I'm completely weaponless, so... Hopefully no googlies come after me, because... Not really much I could do about it. <laughs> um, doesn't seem to be many puzzles, though. It seems just to be sort of... Just making my way across. Oh dear. Not that way, I guess. Let's go around the other way. I need to get to that chain, I assume. I don't know how I'm going to get to it, though. Let's look around this side of the column. Why the bloody hell not? Oh dear. I think I, think I just rush through things too much. I'm not very careful. I'm very impatient when it comes to games. Like, I'm always really impatient in single-player games, but not multiplayer games. Like, in Halo and COD and that, I can... I, d I don't care about rushing in and being in the combat the whole time. I care a lot about staying alive more than I do, like... Um, like, making sure I get loads of kills. And that doesn't... That's not just to say that I'm a massive camper. It's just, like, my priority is life over getting kills. So... Uh, right, what, what has that done? Can I now grab onto that chain, I guess? I don't know where I'd grab onto it from, though. This side? Down here? Here we go. Maybe maybe it'll move the thing along. If I swing, will it move that thing along? Nope. All right, let's, let's just... Okay, I think I'm just supposed to go down, down there. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if, like, I keep going down if I'm just going to fall off the end. Right. I'm being really careful with the buttons I press. Like, every time I press a button, I'm really thinking, like, is circle swing? Yes, yeah, circle is definitely swing, because one false button and I could just drop off and die. And Because there's no save sofas at the moment, or save armchairs, there's, <laughs> I really don't want to die at the moment. I mean, I don't want to die at the best of times, but now it's especially so. Okay, um... And I'm not making that jump, surely. Surely that's not what I'm supposed to do. Uh... Can I go down here? Does that ledge grab onto a ball? I'm not sure. I don't know if I can grab onto that ledge. Uh, let me have a look around up here first before I commit to going down that way and <laughs> possibly dying. I don't want to do this entire room all over again. It's just so quiet now. Like, there's just nothing. All there is, all the sound is at the moment, is I, I know you can hear it, but... It's obviously a lot quieter for you because you've got my bloody voice over it all, but all the sound is, apart from my annoying drone, is just wind and him. It's just in the background, just in case you don't know what wind sounds like. It's just and then his footsteps and his panting. That's all the sound there is. And I said in a past video that I'm surprised there wasn't more music in this game. And I actually think in some places music could have helped it. I think there is something nice about just having the game simple without like a massive backing track the whole way through but I think sometimes having some more dramatic music can help a game all right seems I did the right thing and this is where I was supposed to go this jump looks makeable <laughs> this jump looks makeable then I fall to my doom and die oh no all the way back here all right I'm gonna do my my classic thing and 
I'm going to skip the video ahead until I get back to where I was. So I'm just going to skip ahead now. Okay, welcome back. Well, I don't know why I keep saying welcome back. Like, I forget that you have not gone anywhere. <laughs> this has been instant for you. Yeah, basically, uh, yeah, as you saw, I died. Uh, I got back down to where I was. Well, pretty much. I'm on my way there still now, but I thought I'd start recording because I was getting bored not talking to anyone. Like, I like making these Let's Play videos. I mean, I like making videos for YouTube because I want people to watch them, but if I was just playing for this game silently, I don't think I'd have had as much fun. I, I enjoy commentating. Like, I know that it's it's not really like you are here with me, but, like, I don't know. It's like... When I'm talking to you, I do kind of feel like you are here with me as I'm playing. It's weird. Like, as I was playing, like, now, getting back down to where I was because I died, I felt, like, even more lonely because I was just... I was just there just playing, just in silence, just sitting in my room, and it felt a bit weird. I'm, I'm used to, while playing this game, like, just in the last two days as I've been playing it, just chatting to you as I've been playing. It's sort of... It's become more natural now. Which is good, because... When I first started doing commentaries, I found it incredibly unnatural. Like, some people just pick it up. Some people you put a mic in front of them and they're just like, Hey, how's it going? You're right, right, buddy. Some people you put a mic in front of them and they go like, gulp. And they feel awkward and self-conscious. And if you are thinking about doing commentaries and you want a few tips, I recommend doing it um, when you're in the house by yourself. So, you know, there's no one else near you because I don't know about you. But with me, if anyone can hear me, I reckon that I'm a bit more self-conscious. Do it in the room by yourself and just keep doing it, keep practicing, and you'll eventually pick it up. Speaking of picking it up, looks what I've found. I found that sword. This is that sword from the very beginning of the game. Oh, this is where we was at the very beginning of the game. Sorry, this is where we were. Do you remember this bit? There was like a boat came down here and this is where they took me through. And they had one of those people who had this sword and this is what they used to open that door. So I reckon that door that we went past, you know, the type that only Yorda can... Uh, open the doors that I keep calling penguins um, even though they don't look anything like penguins <laughs> I think that I can probably open that door now yeah this is this is where the very opening of the game was this is the boat that brought me in it's all your bloody fault boat I hate boats <laughs> I know I, I know I shouldn't blame the boat it's not the boat's fault I'm sorry boat okay right how, where did I come in uh, oh my god like where the hell how did I get in this area oh this way <laughs> I get very confused. Yeah, so I think I can open that door now. I feel powerful. I got my sword. Uh, I'm going to call this sword Sammy. Sammy the sword. Sammy the shiny sword. There we go. Royal arms. I can do what Yorda does. I now literally have zero use for Yorda. Like, okay, she was good company. I enjoyed her while she's there. But her only purpose, her only special ability was opening those doors. And I don't even need her for that now. I'm set. Okay, are those symbols on the elevator anything uh, significant? Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. I'm mostly going to have to fight something now. There's no way they're going to give me a massive lightning sword and then make me, like, cut up some onions with it. There's obviously something bad going to be coming up in a second. <laughs> Let's just find out what it will be. Actually... I think this is going to be a good point to end the video. I know you're going to hate me. I know we're obviously near the end of the game and things are about to get dramatic and I apologise. But looking at the time in the video, I don't want to start getting into the ending of the game and then like it going over like half an hour or something. So sorry, but um, link in the description to the next video. It will be up very, very shortly, probably the next day from this video. So you won't have long to wait. But thanks for watching through this video. As I say, link in the description. Make sure you're checking back to my channel to find out when the next video is up. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you later.